Hey guys, welcome to today's Wednesday technical analysis. So for those who know, for those who do not know, we started our funding program on Monday, the 2nd of November. If you have not watched that video, I'll leave a link below or up here, I'll leave a link so that you can go and watch that video and see how the process of being funded goes so that you can get the 100,000 funding within the next six months. Before that, you go through an evaluation where you'll be trading about $1,000, $200 or $2,400 for your first six months before you get that 100,000 funding that you can go and watch that video and understand what it's all about. Apart from that, today we have elections, so we're waiting for the results. So far, we're seeing Biden is leading the electoral vote, so we're waiting for around noon or around 2 p.m. Kenyan time to see what the results will be. So at the end of the day, we do not trade fundamentals, we trade technical analysis. Later on in this video, we're going to see how we've broken down the market, what we're anticipating. We're looking at a lot of dollar strength. That's what market has been pricing in for the past few weeks. So we're yet to get that confirmation and continue riding the wave. Apart from that, enjoy this video. And if you want to find us, come and uh, meet us so that you can understand the funding program. We normally have free inductions every Monday and Fridays, but you have to book. So make sure you contact us, book your session and come and understand how the funding program works as well as our many other products that we have. So apart from that, let's get straight into the video and analyze the markets. Hey everyone, what's up, what's up? Good morning, so uh, sorry for the delay. We're just watching a few things that Trump was saying over here, so it was quite important, we didn't want to miss. We're saying he wants to go to the Supreme Court, seeming he doesn't want to accept defeat. But anyway, we'll see how that goes later on today. I hope today you can all hear me. I hope everyone is well, having a good week. Uh, we're watching the markets. As we said earlier on, today I won't talk much about the funding process because we started the funding process on Monday. So if you want to get funded, know where our offices are. Now the main thing, the main work we do over here is not funding. The main work we do is trading. So with that said, we look at a few pairs on the markets. I look at a few. Can we look at a few? Then we'll end it there, wait for the elections to come out late uh, election results to come out later on today in terms of electoral votes um Biden is so far winning so we are yet to see but it's not yet concluded until we get those uh, full electoral votes come in is when we'll know who the winner is so we're watching we're seeing Trump doesn't want to accept defeat he wants to go to court we'll see how that goes later on today but apart from that last night we saw the markets really spike uh, they might continue today as well, so volatility is quite high. Um, VIX, I don't know what VIX is trading at at the moment. Okay, it's 35, not so bad, not so bad. But we're yet to see. So today expect markets to really move, okay? Expect markets to really move. With that said, let's jump straight into the charts. Let's look at a few things uh, so that we can always... At the same time, when the markets are moving, you, you have to anticipate... Uh, what is going to happen so that you can prepare in advance when the market entry comes you're able to execute it so with that said let me jump into a few pairs look at show you what i've been looking at and then i leave the floor to ken i won't do that much of many pairs because time has really moved but <clears throat> but yeah starting with dollar index up down up down up down is the narrative so we saw the dollar yesterday really drop today we've seen it ever since the morning so this is the four hour chart we can say but it still followed the technical analysis this was a uh, if you look at long term this was impulse so we had an impulse here correction to 78.6 then we came had this breakout came back we retested it today morning so market opened with that huge gap today morning and that's why we've seen the market the dollar has just been strengthening uh, especially with the fact that Donald Trump wants to go to court and all that, there's a lot of uncertainty, so it's easy to see many people jumping for the dollar, so it's easy to start seeing stocks falling and many of the dollar pairs falling as well. So with that said, on the dollar index, you can see what's happening. If I go on the daily chart, daily chart, nothing much really, just what we're seeing on the 4-hour chart. So with that said, if I go straight into Aussie dollar, one of the pairs I trade, what we're seeing <coughs> happened, Yesterday we had a very very strong rally. This market just pushed all the way up. We had interest rates as well. So Australia released their interest rates yesterday, and they had uh, they changed the interest rates from 0.25 to an all-time low of 0.1. So interest rates in Australia are very very low. 
and with that said immediately after that news came up we saw the australian Aussie dollar shoot all the way up later on today with that dollar strength we've seen it come back down so we're basically where we started off yesterday where the market was yesterday so um yesterday the interest rates affected it but the narrative of the week is the elections the outcome of the elections is what is very key so we'll be watching Aussie dollar as well we'll wait for the market to settle for me that is and then get that proper direction of the entry I'll take. If I go to USD card, USD card in a triangular formation, so you can see market has been moving sideways. We're having this very, very clean uh, triangular formation. Market was moving up, came down, did form a new lower low, uh, came back up, did form a new uh, higher high, then came back down, did form a new lower low. So I'm sort of in this triangular formation, which of course one way or another it's going to pop. I have this midline as well where I'm watching the market because it was acting as support. I mean resistance over here acted as support when it broke up. So also this one as well, I'll wait for the path of least resistance to be established. So far we are seeing a lot of dollar strength. So once this triangle is broken, uh, whatever direction, then I'll be looking to look for those entries there. Personally, I normally look for those impulse corrections. So I'll be looking for a flag maybe to form depending on the direction the market breaks let's say if it goes up i'll be looking for a correction maybe that triangular formation then take that long and depending on how market so i'll just wait for all those uh aspects to happen first before i make any of my decisions so personally i normally trade those ken will cover gold and dow jones uh, and see where the market will be heading further on today but ultimately we're still waiting for elections then we'll see what direction we'll be taking our trades this week so that's it from me. I'll leave the floor to Ken. We'll cover his few pairs and we'll end it there. Just wait for elections and that's it. So I'll see you guys personally on Friday. So hi guys. Hope you're doing well. Uh, for me, markets are moving and when markets are moving, I want to participate. So I want to take some risk. As long as I have my stop losses set well and I have my risk well calibrated, can be able to participate in the market because as much as the elections, as much as the outcome will determine the, the movement of the market, I think ultimately technicals are going to show us where the markets are going to move and you just follow the technicals. That's what I really understand, that's what I know how to use to trade markets. I look at fundamentals, yes, but not much of my decision making is based on that. So looking at markets currently, like Caleb was saying, Trump looks like he won't accept the defeat. So he's not yet been defeated, but Biden has a very early, has a very early lead. So he's leading with quite some points, about 10 points, and that means that he has a high probability of winning. Anyway, that was expected if you've been doing your research. It was expected that maybe there'll be a context, um, a contest, I mean. And when that's the case, markets are likely to keep on moving lower. Probably we'll get some civil unrest there. We don't know what will happen over there. But again, like I said, I just follow the tip. So... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share with you what I'm watching in the markets. I currently have around two positions. I'm looking at the Dow, so 30 of the best American companies to keep on selling off. And I'm looking at oil to also keep on selling off. So those are the two main things I think I'll focus on. Gold, I'll just leave it to the side, but I also think it will keep on selling off. But again, during such periods, you also don't want to be too aggressive because markets can quickly turn. And then that's the case. You want to minimize the drawdown if that's the case or the losses you'll have if the markets turn on you. So the basic thing is just manage your risk if you'll be trading these markets. And if you can't do that, then just stay out of the markets and wait for the wave to pass and then you can come in and participate. So I'll just look at the Dow, I'll look at oil, and then I'll look at gold. Those are the three favorite things that I'm looking. Those are the three things I'm mainly watching. All of them quite volatile, so most of these things move quite some percentages, like oil is already down 2%, the Dow is down 1.5%, and gold is also down about one one percent so let me just look at those markets so i'll give you i'll share with you my analysis my exits my point of entries and then you guys will calibrate this with what you have in your side and you can make a good decision so that's my screen i'll start off with looking at oil hopefully you can all hear me so oil 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 i've been looking for a sell-off for quite some time so if i just go down to the daily chart i missed the two great sell-offs and i don't want to miss the third one so we had this first one the initial one then we had this second one after this long consolidation and correction but now i'm looking forward for the markets to keep on selling off so apologies for my color i don't use these colors so i'm actually using the wrong chart because i'm doing some back testing on my other chart 
but next time next time i'll share with you some better colors which can be able to see especially for the new ones anyway i expect markets to keep on selling off you could see oil go down all the way to 25 dollars a barrel that's my long term target that's why i think i'll start thinking of turning into a bullish perspective and if i just look at it from a weekly perspective it means that these markets are likely to keep on selling off all the way back to these levels making a correction of this first initial bull move so we had the first initial bull move after the bottom at zero and i think this is just a correction this is not really a bear market continuation rather a correction due to lockdowns and all this uncertainty you could see oil go down quite some percentages so on the daily chart this is the channel i have but on the four hour chart i have a beautiful channel enabling me to execute my position so this is one of the favorite patterns that i like trading so we have the first bounce second bounce and now we've gotten the third bounce so expect the markets to sell off all the way to 32.5 31 dollars a barrel at least before the end of this week especially due to the election uncertainty and the high volatility in the markets so this is one of my favorite trades this is why i think i'll put much of my risk and my attention <coughs> finally i look at dow so this is gold let me just go through gold gold is also doing some beautiful things so i expected gold to keep on moving lower and i've been sharing a bearish perspective for quite some time with you guys so ultimately i think gold has some potential to hit 1750 again before we turn into bullish perspectives so i like trading having the long term perspective and then combine that to the short term perspective so i can come in and out but i know the long term direction so the long term direction like like i said i'm looking for gold to keep on sinking lower to 1760 1750 ultimately in the four hour chart we had a break and a retest of a beautiful triangle like i let's say so if you just study the market you'll discover this was a triangle taken out and then you had a bull move taking us back to retest it and now i've got in a slide so we could see this slide taking us lower all the way to the 1820 1800 levels to the extremes of 1800 before the end of the week but probably you can target 1820 not a bad target about 600 points from where we are currently trading a risk reward ratio your stops can come in at above 1910 so about 200 pips for your stop and you can put some risk on that finally i look at i look at the dow so the dow i also expected a big sell off on this one so if i just look at the daily chart a very very beautiful pattern again that i like trading a break and a retest of a channel so we had this break then we had this rally back to retest it and now markets are moving lower so you can expect markets to keep on moving lower at least to 25500 5400 something of the sort on the four hour chart this is the pattern that i have so i expected markets to hit this level but clearly we failed and now we're moving lower so you could see these markets come back down all the way to 25500 24500 before the end of this week to the extreme levels if there's too much volatility and if the markets can maintain the bearish momentum so that's what i have at least for now i won't look at the currencies because i don't have much there i don't i don't think i'll be trading many currencies the main narrative is the dollar will get stronger and i think caleb has gone through that so that's what i'm watching let me see how markets will be acting and then on friday we'll review and see how the markets will have acted if they take misled us and how we can better position ourselves but basically that's what i'm watching and if there's any question i think on the chat room i'll try and answer it if there are no questions we'll stop there and we'll see you guys on friday so no questions i think i'll see you guys on friday anyone who's interested in the funding can visit us so offices at jqua towers if you have any question feel free to give us a call you can get our contacts at the website anything else uh, the website our social media platforms all of these places we are there so you can easily access us someone says great job thank you thank you thank you so i think i'll stop there and we'll see you guys next time on friday when we'll be reviewing some of the positions we've taken and how they performed